Andrew Beaton. And I'm Jenny Pappas. And we play Emily and Chloe on Family Channel's hit series, The Next Step. We're hosting Family's annual stand-up tour that's traveling to select schools all across Canada. This is the 12th year of the bullying prevention campaign. And in addition to using music and shows to get the message across, we looked into groups in the community we visited to share with us the local work they do. We got to meet some very cool people who use lots of different methods to address bullying. Each of the groups work with students to promote the messages that are most important when it comes to preventing bullying. Helping others, inspiring confidence, and being comfortable with who you are. We started off our week-long adventures at the East Coast at Winding River Consolidated in Stuyak, just outside of Halifax, Nova Scotia, a quaint little town with a whole lot of heart. Good morning, Winding River Consolidated. It's Alexandra Beaton and Jenny Papp is here from the next step. Are you guys ready to stand up today? Well, get down to the gym and we'll see you there. The kids showed up ready to learn and have some fun. It was so awesome to see how excited everyone was. This is my first chance to go on tour to meet the fans, and it was so amazing to see all of them while getting to promote such a great cause. We received nearly 1,600 entries from students across Canada who wanted family to visit their schools. And it was Hayden Poole's entry that put Winding River Consolidated on the map. Hayden entered with the help of his sister Jenna and his parents, and they told us how their school works together to prevent bullying. Our school does many things to stand up to bullying. On September 18th, we hold an annual anti-bullying day where everyone wears pink. Hayden's family all helped write his entry, which we thought was so cool because we know that having people who love and support you can make dealing with bullying easier. Family gets information and statistics like this by working with an organization called PrevNet, which stands for Promoting Relationships and Eliminating Violence Networks. As part of the rally tour, Prevnet sent one of their bullying experts to lead a discussion with the students, and in Stuyak, it was Megan Lamb. Megan spoke about different types of bullying and how to react to them. She also reminded students about reaching out to parents, friends, and family if you are in a bullying situation. At Winding River Consolidated, the school works closely with the local RCMP detachment, and Constable Vicki Colford came out to the rally to show her support. We need to do exactly what we've said over and over today, and that is to stand up. After the rally, Jenny and I wanted to get in some sightseeing, so we traveled just outside of Halifax to the infamous Peggy's Cove. It's still used as a fishing village to this day, but Peggy's Cove and the historic lighthouse that stands on the point has become quite the mecca for photographers and artists alike. So despite the crazy ocean air that threatened to blow us away, we decided to have our own little photo shoot. There is nothing quite like a deep breath of East Coast ocean air to send you on your way. So you go is beautiful. It's so amazing. Windy. Slow windy. windy. And just like that, our time there was over. We really enjoyed our brief but memorable stay and the warm welcome we received from everybody at Winding River Consolidated. Considering we were there to talk about such a negative topic, we had such a positive experience and this was an amazing way to start off our tour. It's Alexandra and Jenny, stars in the next step and hosts of this year's stand-up tour. You don't have to walk very far in downtown Toronto to realize you're in a bustling, world-class city. So it was nice to slow things down a little bit and head just east of the city to St. Brendan Catholic School in Scarborough for our second rally. When we arrived at the school, you could feel the excitement in the air. Nearly 600 kids brought their enthusiasm to the gym. Here we go! But we were there for one reason. From the entries received for the stand-up rallies, it was grade five student Maya Nuwiki that made a great case for St. Brendan. Maya told us all about how her school works together to stop bullying before it even starts, and how important it is to treat other people the way you want to be treated. We believe that bullying is not okay. Our motto is hands, feet, and negative comments to yourself. Last year, we had student yard monitors. Their purpose was to make sure that nobody was getting bullied and that everyone was playing fairly. Don't stand by, stand up. She also said that no one ever deserves to feel lonely or left out, not even bullies. 
We thought that was an amazing answer. Once everyone had settled in, the students were treated to a brand new episode of Austin and Allie that focused specifically on bullying. Oh, here's another one about Trish. Trish stinks like rotten onions. They should call the place Stinking Beauty. Well, that wasn't very nice. And I spelled beauty wrong. The episode brought laughs to the audience, but also made them stop and think about the topic of bullying and the issues surrounding it. In a discussion led by PrevNet's Jesse Pandori, the students talked about what had happened in the show. It was great to see how well the students responded to the episode and the positive messages they took away from it. Up next was a special guest appearance by Jason Calero, a representative from the Toronto Argonauts Huddle Up Bullying Prevention Program. Jason shared his own experience with bullying and let the students of St. Brennan know how important it is to stand up when you see bullying happen, even if it's standing up for someone else. We thought Jason's story was so empowering, we decided to visit him and some of the Argos players at their practice field right here in Toronto. Some people might think that professional athletes don't have to deal with bullying, but Toronto Argonauts players Jonathan Hood and Matt Black had a lot of great advice to give. You have to understand uh, the, the power that you have inside yourself. You have to understand that you're worth. No matter what you're going through, no matter what people say to you, you're a special person. There's resources out there for you. You know, go to your help, find help, talk to people you trust, people that you love, you know, and find a way And that there's always brighter days and, you know, you can make it out. Yeah. Don't stand by, stand up. I think having Alex and I around encouraged the players to let loose because before we left, the guys showed us a couple of their signature end zone moves. Victory Our time at St. Brennan School was fantastic. The students really want to make their community more inclusive, and having professional athletes like the Toronto Argonauts look up to is so inspiring. Pappas. And I'm Alexander Beaton, and we're from The Next Step. We're also the hosts of this year's Family Channel stand-up tour, which traveled to four schools all across Canada to promote bullying prevention. We conquered the East, so we ventured to the West. Our third stop was Winnipeg, Manitoba. We got into town early, so we set out exploring, and there's no better way to do that than by checking out the Forks, Winnipeg's number one tourist destination. A meeting place for more than 6,000 years, the Forks is framed by the banks of the Red and Assiniboine Rivers, and used to be a trading post way back in the day. Now full of revitalized historical buildings and cool statues, it's a great place to walk around, and Jenny and I were among the 4 million visitors that check out the Forks each year. Even though we had an amazing time touring Winnipeg, the real reason we were in town was to bring the stand-up rally tour to Luxton School. A new school meant a new friend from PrepNet and a new community group for us to learn about. Rihanna Holter-Ferguson of the Red Cross's Beyond the Hurt program shared her personal story about bullying at the rally and how she overcame people's hurtful words and actions to become a leader and help others. As part of her role with the Red Cross, Rihanna and her peers work in high schools to teach students about bullying. They use lots of interesting activities that make you see situations from different people's perspectives. Because you have the chance to put yourself in someone else's shoes, this is a really cool way to see how both the bullies and the victims feel. We were invited to participate in a Beyond the Hurt training session with a group of older students that talked about how people with power can contribute to bullying, but more importantly, how they can prevent it. How did you guys feel when people labeled you? Not <laughs> This message went hand in hand with the PrevNet presentation that Wendy Josephson gave. She explained how it's important to tell someone if you're being bullied so they can stand up to it with you and make you feel like you have power too. She also reminded everyone that sometimes the first thing you do might not work, so it's important to keep trying. How about you? Do you want the bullying to stop? At the end of the day, one of the most important things to remember is that you can always turn to your friends and family for support. Knowing someone else understands what you're going through makes a big difference. This year's stand-up anthem called I'm Ready by 11 Past One shares this idea, so we included it as part of the rallies. We had a dance party at each school to show that when everyone is included and sharing their feelings, or in this case dance moves, we are all united. 
While bullying awareness is a serious topic, we work hard to make sure the rallies themselves are a lot of fun. Luxton does a lot of work to make sure their school is a fun and inclusive place too, which is why we're not surprised Bentley Alley nominated her school. We were here today because Bentley nominated the Luxton school. We like to have assemblies where some grade one to three students make skits about standing up to bullying. We also watch plays for what to do when you get bullied, performed by acting companies. We also put up posters in the hall to raise awareness. Similar to Hayden and Stuyak and Maya and Scarborough, Bentley wants to put a stop to bullying. There's so many little things you can do to make sure that happens at your school. Invite someone to sit with you at lunch, play with someone new at recess, or even talk to someone you don't know very well. You just may make a new friend. Leaving Winnipeg, it felt like we had made 300 new friends. This tour has given us so much hope that bullying will stop in the future. Alexandra and Jenny, your host for Family Channel's Stand Up Tour and stars of The Next Step. It's hard to believe it, but we've reached our last stop on our cross-country rally tour. It's been an incredible week. We've met so many inspirational speakers and motivated students that all want to stand up to bullying. Last, but certainly not least, was Westbound School in Strathmore, just outside of Calgary, Alberta. It was an early start, so Jenny and I were determined to get everyone moving. Knowing that this was our final rally made us a bit sad, but we were determined to finish on a high note. Plus, the student who nominated the school, Faith Markell, gave us a great reason to visit Westmount. Faith's entry really jumped out at us because she and her friends took the issue of bullying prevention to a whole new level. Peja, Hope, Avery, and myself went to the vice principal and asked him if we could put together a PowerPoint presentation to do in front of the whole school. He agreed. And she was only in grade three. How cool. Prevnet shared more important statistics about bullying at this stop, and our friend Wendy had a great discussion with the students. Prevnet does so much important research about bullying that really helps shape the stand-up campaign. Did you know that when someone intervenes, bullying stops within 10 seconds more than half the time? Facts like that remind us why it's important to stand up. Joining us in Strathmore were Carrie Fulmeck and Carolyn Charles from Equine Connection, a program that uses horses to help people cope with bullying. Their presentation was really cool, and later on Jenny and I got a chance to go back to their ranch and try out a training session with a horse named Bay. This activity focused on our social and communication skills, as well as our self-esteem, three things that are very closely related to dealing with bullying. The horses were so beautiful, and being outside at the ranch was so calming. It gave us a good opportunity to reflect on the week that was winding down. message out on the road and everyone was so open to hearing what we had to say. Students, parents, teachers and community members all showed their support to stop bullying and are committed to finding ways to prevent it. We traveled from the edge of the Atlantic Ocean to the heart of the prairie and everywhere we ended up people were saying the same thing. Stand up! 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 Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up.